Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Alex and today we'll be reviewing the brand new Cube Stereo 160 Action Team 2021. Let's get started. So straight away guys, I absolutely love the bike. I've owned the bike now for a couple of months. Can't fault it at all. And as an e-bike being one of the top range on the Cube Stereo range, everything that I have ever wanted is on that bike currently. So straight away, the Cube has a carbon frame. Now it's, there's two parts of the frame. There's a front bit, front triangle if you like, and then there's a rear bit, which is the rear triangle. Um, of course, you've got the mechanism there that holds the rear suspension in. But if we just divide the frame into two, you've got the carbon at the front, which then goes into aluminium at the back. So it's got an aluminium rear triangle, but it is carbon at the front. So one thing guys that people always worry about when they buy an e-bike is the weight of it. It is a 24 kilo bike. It weighs 24.1 kilos. However, you don't feel that when you come down the hill. The better suspension you get, the better the ride's gonna feel. Then maybe if you can, just invest in a little bit more and just go for a little bit better bike because the better suspension you get, the better the ride's gonna feel. Talking about suspension, Fox all around. This was one massive factor for me when I first got this bike. I didn't want rock shots. I've had rock shots in the past and I really didn't like it. Um, it was just wasn't good for me. Every time I felt like it, it needed way more maintenance than should be needed. It just seemed to seize up, you know, it would feel really notchy and really hard. Don't like it. So I'm not saying every rock shot suspension is like that, but in my experience, they're not particularly as good as Fox. So the two holes on the back, um, there are two little buttons there. You press them, they release unneeded air. Now this is just air that builds up in the chamber over time. If you set this fork up to your weight and your rebounds for your weight, then you won't be able to fault it at all. It is the most flush fork you will ever ride. So the rear shock is a Fox DPX2 piggyback shock. Now this shock is incredible. Oh my God, everything on this bike is just so good. Cannot even get over it. Kashima coated also guys. If you didn't know, the color of the bike is Action Team. That is the color. The colors come in sort of blue, silver, orange. That's their color scheme. However, every sort of component that you look that can be Kashima coated is Kashima coated like the front fork, the rear shock and the dropper post and it just pops the bike off completely if you're wondering why a piggyback shock is made it's because in the warm weather the rear shock usually the seal likes to heat up a lot and basically doesn't make the shock work as well if you have a piggyback shock there's an extra chamber of air there when it heats up the unneeded air goes into the piggyback shock which is the little chamber glued to the side if you like just attached there looking lovely there we are now Going on to the drivetrain, now the drivetrain is a massive thing for me guys. I have said in the past, there's just something about Shimano that is just so much nicer than SRAM. Now there is gonna be SRAM addicts out there that are gonna completely wipe me out saying that they love SRAM. However, this is again, my opinion. If you didn't know, they make XT 1x12, Dior 1x12 and SLX 1x12 as well. So if you don't wanna spend loads of money on the XT or the XTR. Okay, talking about the dropper. The dropper, depending on the size that you get, so if you go for a small, if you go for a medium, or if you go for a large, the dropper post is gonna change in size. Now off the top of my head, I believe that the large Cube Stereo comes with a 150 mil dropper post. There, the smaller you go, the smaller the dropper gets. It's a 31.6 mil Kashima coated post, absolutely beautiful. It feels a lot smoother to their own made cube dropper post. Now, of course it will, it's Fox. So going on to the electrics, guys, it comes with a Bosch Gen 4 motor. So you've got 65 watt hour battery, you'll be getting between 100 and 150 kilometer range. Kiox display tells you exactly how much mileage you're gonna get. So you're not gonna be five miles away from your house and not be able to get home. It will tell you on the dot how much mileage you're gonna get on the terrain that you're riding. Best motor that they make and the biggest battery that they make currently. You've got the Kiox display. The Kiox display is amazing. It can tell you everything that you wanna know. So it will do navigation. Very basic navigation at the moment. The app isn't amazing, but it's okay. Like I said, there is pros and cons of the Kiox display. It tells you all the information that you need to know, but also information that you don't really need to know. It's very basic pinpoint navigation. They don't tell you exactly where you are. It just, it, it's just a basically a little blue arrow. I'll put a photo on the screen now. It's just a little blue arrow that tells you which direction to go. Uh, it doesn't tell you like what's around you, but they do make a neon display, which will tell you a little bit more information. Kiox on there, so it's a removable display. The brakes are XT4 pot front and rear. If you were to go a little bit cheaper in the range, you would get two pot 
probably four port on the front and two port on the back. Would I upgrade the brakes? Probably not. However, I do like the look of Mugura's carbon fiber brake. If I was to do one upgrade, I'd put these brakes on my hardtail and put some carbon Magura brakes on this bike because that, oh, wow. What charges this bike? During the range, the range that you go for with your bike, if you were to go on a cheaper range, you would get a two amp charger. Now this would charge your bike in about five and a half hours, something like that. With this one, being a 625 battery, it is gonna take a little bit longer to charge. So as you spend more money in the range, you get a better charger. And the charger that comes on this one is a four amp Bosch charger. You can get two amp, you can get four amp, and you can get six amp. Six amp is gonna charge your bike in about two and a half hours, something like that, very, very quickly. A 625, two and a half hours, done, 100%, easy, zero to 100%. Four amp is gonna be about three and a half to four hours, and two amp is gonna be about five and a half hours. And of course, it's a 250 watt motor on that one. The one that is above this one is 62% carbon, so it is a little bit more carbon on that one. However, like I said, it's a little bit more electronic, and I just don't really like how the dropper post is electronic, the gears are electronic, because then you have your battery to charge, you have your seat post to charge, and you have your gears to charge. And that's three things you need to remember to charge. And if you go out with your battery charge and your seat post charge, and you haven't charged your gears, like, you can't go out for your rides. So you need to wait for your gears to charge. Okay, so going on to tires. On the rear, you have a Schwabler Big Betty. Now, this is a 2.4 inch tire. And then on the front, you have a Schwabler Magic Mary, which is also 2.4. My hardtail came with 2.6, and this came with 2.4. I was stunned when I saw that. I was really happy because you don't need a 2.6. When I change my hardtail tires, I'm gonna change them to 2.4. So that is basically everything covered, guys. If I have missed anything, I'll put it into the description. But like I said, I'm not gonna go through little headsets. My verdict of the bike is a massive yes. I absolutely love it. If you're looking for an e-bike, which is gonna be and give you the best experience that you can get, it is gonna be one of these cube stereos. You don't need to spend this sort of money. Like I said, they're coming at about 3,300 pounds and they go up from there. The only reason you spend more money is for suspension, gears, brakes, that sort of thing. And of course the dropper post. If you're just looking for electronics, you don't really mind the components on the bike, 3,800 pounds is where you need to set yourself on the cube range to get the best electronics. The Gen 4 Bosch motor with 85 newton meters of torque and the 65 integrated battery. And of course you still get a carbon frame. Give this video a like and please subscribe guys. We're almost at 300 subscribers. And I absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Go on, man. Go yeah, bro. Up there. Yeah. I'll try to be Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. My guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Nice, you guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the day, yeah? Cool. See you guys in a bit. Bye.